this video i'm going to discuss about this general mechanism of electrophilic substitution reactions of benzene uh, right so this is from the uh, bsc first year syllabus that is organic chemistry aromatic hydrocarbons yes let's look at the electrophilic substitution reactions of benzene in detail right when we look at the benzene if you see the structure of benzene we know that it is a cyclic structure with alternating single and double bonds so this is what a cyclic structure if you see that there is a uh, unsaturation which is present here and this is in the double bonds and single bonds are in conjugation that means alternating single and double bonds we can see there and if you say that it is also a planar structure where all the carbons are sp2 hybridized and a planar structure and if it also follows the 4 and plus 2 pi electron rule that is the huckel's rule right so uh, if, if if it uh, obeys all these conditions uh, you know that it is an aromatic compound right so benzene is aromatic compound and what is the characteristic reactions of this aromatic compounds um, like benzene so you know that the characteristic reactions of this is electrophilic substitution reactions right so here if you see there are double bonds like alkene right so what are the characteristic reactions of an alkene since there is a double bond here and it is rich in electrons so the characteristics of this alkenes is electrophilic addition reactions actually electrophilic addition reactions but like alkenes it should undergo this benzene should undergo electrophilic substitution reactions but it is not it is undergoing electrophilic i mean uh, like alkene it should undergo the addition reactions but it is not undergoing the addition reactions it is undergoing the substitution reactions why why because if it undergoes addition reactions it will lose its um, aromatic character right so it doesn't want to lose its aromatic character by undergoing the addition reactions because the aromaticity uh, will confer uh, extra stability to the molecule that is why aromatic compounds uh, we say that it's more stable than any other compounds because they get the extra stability if they have aromatic that is why the benzene or for that matter any aromatic compounds does not want to lose their aromaticity by undergoing the electrophilic addition reactions so they undergo the electrophilic substitution reactions uh, where they retain this aromaticity or aromaticity is not disturbed or the, uh, or we can say that aromaticity is preserved if they undergo the substitution reactions right that is why they do not undergo the addition reactions even though these are characteristics of a double bond or the presence of the uh, uh, double bond where uh, for example alkenes but they undergo the substitution reactions because they do not want to disturb the aromaticity or they want to retain the aromatic character that is why they do not undergo the addition reactions right so the benzene uh, yeah this is the structure of benzene and how does this undergo these electrophilic substitution reactions and what is the mechanism of this right it occurs in two steps first of all the first step where the attack of this uh, pi electrons of the benzene ring benzene uh, we know that is rich in electrons where um, i mean the presence of three double bonds is rich in pi electrons so this can attack on the electrophile what is an electrophile it's an electron deficient species so this is deficient and this is rich in electrons so this get attack on the electrophile that is a strong electrophiles again easily attack resulting in the formation of a sigma complex and the second step where uh, where uh, the sigma complex will lose a proton resulting in the formation of a substitution product they by they regenerating their aromatic character in the first step the aromatic character is lost aromatic character is lost loses its aromatic character but in the second step it regains its it, uh, it regenerates aromatic character by losing a proton let's uh, look at these two steps in detail where the first step is what attack on the electrophile of this benzene uh, ring resulting in the formation of a sigma Right, so this is benzene. There are three double bonds. We know this, so this can easily attack on the electrophile because this is rich in electrons, resulting in the formation of a carbocation intermediate. So this is the carbocation intermediate which is being formed. This is positive, and there is a resonance stabilization which can be seen in this intermediate. So.
Yes. So this is the So this is the resonance stabilization, which uh, we can see this is a positive charge again. So there is a, yes. So we can see the resonance hybrid or show this resonance hybrid for this carbocation intermediate, which is being formed here. So this is the positive and we can see EH. Right, so what are we calling this uh, resonance hybrid as? This we're calling this carbocation intermediate as sigma complex, or we, or we can also call this as, as VLAN intermediate, or it can also be called as VLAN intermediate, or it is also called as benzonium ion, right? So why are we calling it as a sigma complex? because we can see that the electrophile is getting attached to this benzene ring by means of a sigma bond. And this is a new sigma bond which is being, being formed as we can see here. That is why we are calling it as a sigma complex, right? Here we can see that this reaction, if you see here, the, um, the, the benzene ring loses its aromaticity, right? You can observe the loss of aromaticity in this because here the sp2 hybridized carbon atom here if you can see this is changed to sp3 hybridized right so the sp2 hybridized all the carbons in benzene are sp2 hybridized we know that and this sp2 hybridized nature of the carbon atom is changed to one of it is to sp3 hybridized where electrophile is getting attached or attack whatever so this is losing its aromaticity right the second one is this is an endothermic reaction the first step is an endothermic reaction where uh, energy is absorbed during this process for the formation of a sigma complex because it is losing its aromaticity so always aromatic systems are more stable associated with less energy as it is losing its aromaticity absorbing the energy thereby resulting in the formation of a sigma complex and also losing its aromaticity Right, so these are the characteristics of this first step where loss of aromaticity, it is the endothermic reaction and yeah. So this is uh, uh, what is the first step. And if you see the second step, the carbocation intermediate, which is formed in the first step, now loses the proton. This proton is lost from the sp3 hybridized carbon atom. So resulting in the formation of a substitution product. Uh, so this is lost. This is lost to a base. Uh, so this is the base if you see here. So this one here. Yes, uh, so I can show the double bond formation here. So, so here. Yeah, lost to a base here resulting in the formation of a substitution product. We can see the overall reaction is what it is. Uh, uh, e getting substituted onto the benzene ring. Right, so here, what is the characteristics of the second step here where the proton is lost and it is an exothermic reaction. That means energy is given out during the second step because again, it is retaining its aromaticity or regenerating its aromaticity. So regenerate the aromatic ring. So regenerates the aromatic ring. So again, aromatic ring is more stable associated with less energy. So it's giving out energy, regenerates the aromaticity. And yeah, if you see the overall reaction of what is happening here, the overall reaction, it, uh, uh, the electrophilic attack, I mean, uh, yes, the pi electron system of this, uh, of benzene attacks on the electrophile, which is a slow step and the rate determining step of the reaction because uh, it is a slow step, they, uh, resulting in the formation of a carbocation intermediate. So we can show these three in the form of a sigma complex so this is a sigma complex which is being formed H E. So in the second step, what is happening is the fast step where it is losing its H plus, where it is losing its proton, where thereby resulting in the formation of a substitution product. 
So the overall reaction is what E getting, I mean, H being substituted on the benzene ring by means of this electrophile. Right, well, first step is a slow step and the rate determinant step of the reaction. Second step is the fast step, slow, it did not um, determine the rate of the reaction or whatever. Right, so this is the, uh, if you can see, this is the uh, mechanism. And if you look at the potential energy diagram for this electrophilic substitution reaction, right, if you can see that here, first of all, the benzene. I mean, all the reactants are the benzene ring and the electrophile with its um, uh, X minus here. So the electrophile getting attacked on the, I mean, the attack of the electrophile, attack on the electrophile. There are two transition states we can see here. The first transition state where the e, uh, electrophile getting attached to the carbon atom, right? So uh, then again, this is the carbocation intermediate which is being formed. This is uh, present in the valley in between the two transition states. And where the second transition state, where proton is getting lost. So there are two transition states, one and two, and the carbocation intermediate lies in the valley in between the two uh, transition states. Right? So this can be, we can represent a sigma complex also here in this valley. Right? So this is the first step of the reaction. Right, this is the first step where it is the slow step of the reaction or the rate determined step of the reaction, where the second step it is a fast step. So this is the fast step where it is losing a proton and not a rate determining step of the reaction. So resulting in the formation of a product where the proton is lost to X minus. Right. So here this is endothermic reaction. If you can see, this is an endothermic. First step is endothermic and the second step is a fast step and it's an exothermic reaction because it is a fast step where it can uh, uh, regenerate the aromatic uh, character of the ring. That is why it is a fast step. Uh, it loses a proton easily and fastly. So resulting in the formation of a substitution product here, right? Uh, so this is about the electrophilic substitution reactions of benzene. Uh, mechanism. So if you like my video, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And the rest of the chapter has also been dis uh, discussed on my YouTube channel and the link I have that is given in the description box.